What up, y'all? Welcome to the video, man. Y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, check this out. This video, right? When was this? Yesterday, I did a video. Or was it this morning? I forgot. But I did a video recently talking about how Aka De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins left Ryan Garcia hanging at the post press conference. I mean, these guys was basically like a no show. They they ain't show up, and I, and I found it to be very strange. I'm like, listen, it's like this, man. If we we come together, we leave together. This is why I said in my last video. I'm gonna say it again. If it's like me, like four other guys, three guys, whatever, we we go to the club. We got a club over here on the east side, St. Louis, where us from St. Louis go to, you know, a lot of people, I don't go that much, but <laughs> some people from St. Louis go to the clubs on the east side or whatever, right? If I don't, if, if me and my guys going to the east side, I get stumped out. <laughs> I don't like how that sound. I'm gonna say, somebody else get stumped out, right? And, and my guys, I look, I wake up. You hear me? Half dead. I'm like, damn. Where, where, where the, where's such a city? Where, bro? At? <laughs> and they gone. You hear me? And they say, oh, man, um, you know, it ain't no excuses, bro. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's not no excuses. But this is Oscar De La Hoya response to YouTubers like myself and a few other guys that made videos or talking about this situation. Right, so this was basically he was his response. I wish he had just say the name, nigga. I don't know who you talking about? <laughs> but you know, they like any old other week, motherfucker. They like to sneak this. So let's listen. I'm gonna play a little bit. I don't want to show y'all because I'm gonna tell y'all where to go. Go to Fight Hub TV. De La Hoya says death threats was the reason for not showing up to Ryan Garcia post fight. You know, that's that's the video, so go to it. But I'm going to play it so we don't really get in trouble for it or whatever. Um, my hat's off to you. You had a great game plan, beautiful body shot. Ryan Garcia, uh, we are proud of you. The world is proud of you. You made this fight happen. You wanted this fight. and uh... First of all, I got to keep pausing so, you know, no, no, no bull stuff happened or whatever. But first off, he, he 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 making his video as if he never even talking to he never even talked to Ryan or see after the fight. He, this is him talking to Ryan right now, sending the message. Bro, we know y'all that Ryan don't really mess with y'all like that. So this is just more fake from from Oscar De La Hoya. We know you a fake, bro. It is what it is, bro. I'm sure a lot of fighters will learn from you that. Uh... You're daring to be great. But I do want to clarify why Bernard Hopkins and I weren't uh, at the post-fight press conference. You see, you see the power of YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? These guys act like they never watch certain videos or whatever, but then they always got a response for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do a lot of sneak dissing. But man, I wish they just say a name, bro. Just say who you talking about. But we know who he talking about. He responded to guys like myself and and other guys who who talked about the situation. Because me personally, I said the nigga Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins disloyal you for 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 leaving. Oscar, I mean Ryan Garcia hanging. But let's keep listening. First of all, Bernard Hopkins was accused during the weigh-in of having testosterone cream on his hands and touching Gervonta Davis when he only wanted to help him because he was going to fall off the off the stage. Man, let me address that little, little part right there. He said Bernard Hopkins only touched um say he he only touched Gervonta Davis because he was trying to help him from falling off the stage. You don't even post it be over here, nigga. What you trying to help me for? I don't need your help. Fuck is you talking about? That's why Calvin was right there on the right on. Kenny was on the left. And I ain't gonna lie, Kenny the muscle. He he, he was gonna 
file from Bernard Hawkins. I peeped it. I know people probably weren't paying attention, but I peeped it. He right there on the side, and you know he was gonna snuff him. Bow, like, your stupid ass, on. you hear me? Legend and all, but <laughs> that's besides the point. It's just something I pay attention to. But yeah, bro, I need your help, for, bro. Falling, I'm gonna fall off the stage. You ain't some grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if I fall, I fall. Nigga, what you talking about? Nigga, take, push, roll off the stage. Nigga, you hear me? He was good. He pushed his ass. You hear me? Fuck, fuck. Stop it, bro. You don't even supposed to be over here on my side. And what you touching me for? Go, go. If I'm about to fall off the stage, that means Ryan falling off the stage. You need to go save him. You want him to stop me. So what makes you, what make you think I think? That you trying to help me? Stop it, bro. Play with some. Play with your bitch. Oh, oh, we, this ain't that, dog. So, um, PBC, Gervonta's promoter, banned them from everything. He couldn't get inside the ring. He couldn't do anything during the promotion. And so, um, that's a lie. You know, and I ain't even gotta hear nothing from Tank side. First of all, Tank don't even have a promoter. You know what I'm saying? But men and LB were there off the love, I believe. And, and he ain't banning nothing. I ain't seen him ban nothing. You know, ain't no such thing as ban. You can't say he ban you, but then on the other hand, you say you got death threats was the reason you ain't come. So that's more bullshit. For myself, my security team told me, boss, we got to get the fuck. Hold on, go back. For myself. My security team told me, boss, we got to get the fuck out of here because I received death threats. You guys don't know this. I received death threats throughout the whole week. and they That sound like some bitch ass shit. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Your security team work for you. Ain't no way in hell. I got a goddamn suit. That's why I'm hiring you for. What, they, what the fuck they do, nigga? Take the day off? That was, that's why I'm paying you so you can protect me, nigga. That's the point. My security teams said, boss, we got to get the fuck up out of here. Sound like some nigga, you need new security. Fuck, they got a whistle. Nigga, they supposed to have that, that fire on them. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? My security said, boss, we need to get the fuck up out of here. What? Nigga, Floyd Mayweather security took a bullet for Floyd. You hear me? Uh, Floyd was in Atlanta. They was in a truck bulletproof. Uh, no, nah, I don't know if it's bulletproof or not. I forgot, but Floyd security took a bullet for him. Them big, big motherfucking Amazon looking ass nigga, man, that took a bullet for his ass. But your security to boss. We have to get up out of here. We got to get the fuck up out of here, boss. The fuck you banned them niggas for? said it was simply too dangerous so we got out of there and plus eric gomez who is my president and plus. Who was right there front and center with ryan garcia so there was no issue no problems uh this is all coming from all these pbc minions uh, <laughs> just attacking ryan attacking golden boy pbc minions shut your old bitch ass up nigga you one of them niggas that be in my fucking chat one of them fucking ghost accounts acting like you. He wanted to say fucking PBC niggers. Shut up. On some PBC minions. Shut your stupid ass up, nigga. And stop hating on PBC all your life. Fuck wrong with you, boy. He, he, he talking about us, though. <laughs> PBC minions. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. You left that man hanging, bro. Left that man for dead, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? We come together, we lead together. Fuck you watch me get stopped and you run out the goddamn building. Fuck wrong with you, man. That's that type of shit, nigga. When you were little, your mama would beat your fucking ass, boy. Your daddy would knock your fucking head off. You with your goddamn brother, cousin, whoever, nigga. Y'all niggas go fight some boy and he get jumped or he get beat up, nigga, and y'all run home first. Y'all getting y'all ass beat too. Fuck is wrong with him, man. <laughs> you never leave your mans like that.
fuck you talking about? Bernard, your coon ass a coon. Man, you shouldn't have left either. Bald head, old, greasy head ass niggas, man. Shut up. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Brian Garcia made this happen. Play that again. I'm going to go back. In problems. Uh, this is all coming from all these PBC minions uh, that are just attacking Ryan, attacking Golden Boy. But it's PBC minions. <laughs> Fuck up, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Oscar, you a hoe. You left the building, nigga, because them motherfucking gangsters was in that motherfucking nigga. It was too many black people. And your ass was scared. Puss ass, nigga. And you love Ryan to hang, hanging. And yeah, Bernard, you a hoe ass dude, too. You talking all that shit, nigga. And your ass left, too. Yeah, I left that man. Pussy. And it is what it is. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, guys, have a good day. Bye.